There's still plenty of stuff I love tonight. What I love about the Leafs right now this season, one of their best attributes in my opinion, is that Austin Matthews hasn't scored in three games now. Three games, okay? So what? Do you know what I mean? What other team do you know of where their star player, who's a star league-wide, not just on their team, but a league-wide star player, cannot score for three games and the Leafs still keep coming out ahead? Right? That doesn't happen for every team. Those lower end teams, if they're if they're if their stars aren't scoring every night, you know, they're do they're done for. They're doomed. So straight up, I mean we got that going for us. I love that about this team. If if Marner and Matthews can't put it together, don't worry. You got Nylander out there, you got Tavares out there, you got Bunting out there, you got, you know, guys like Lubushkin even were chipping in there the other night, right? Like anybody on this team can score. And it's because they they designed their team to be offensively minded, right? They're always ready to take that risk. Uh, oh, hungry, oh, Henry, I love that. Oh, what a name! First chat, uh, first time chat. Well, welcome. You came to the right place. I bet you're gonna be a follower by the end of this if you're not already. You know what I mean? So, uh, welcome, welcome. And yeah, what a, what a what a great game in terms of uh, uh, the fact that the Leafs can always still score. Always still score. I love Shalgren and Campbell right now as a duo. I don't care what anybody says about goaltending for the Leafs, all right? I think you got a real or I think you got a real tag team there in Shalgren and Campbell. Perfect. Perfect. You got Campbell who's just so thankful to be a starter. He's giving it everything he can every time he's out there. He plays with his heart on his sleeve. You love the guy. He rallies behind dudes, you know what I mean? He's patting butts with the stick. He's a real team guy. I love Campbell as a starter. He's got something to prove to himself and to all those around him. Right? And then you got Shalgren who's just so happy to prove himself as a goalie at all. That he can play the backup nights, not have to be the star, but can still put up an amazing performance because he's motivated to do so as well. He doesn't feel slighted by it. He doesn't feel like, oh, this is supposed to be a tandem and now I'm being treated like a backup. He's he's proud to be that backup. So you got Campbell who's just proud to be that starter. You got Shogren who's proud to be that backup. They're working in unison. I like it. I like it. I think goaltending is looking great right now. Um, and I don't care what the scoreboard says, all right? I really don't. So those are the things I love about a game like tonight. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Now, for those of you who don't like hearing a little bit of criticism, all right? Maybe you're afraid of the odd tussle. I don't know what. But if that's what you're all about and you only want to hear the good things, then, you know, you can go watch something else right now and come back in a few minutes when we get to the crowd comments and stuff. But if I'm going to try and break down what I see in these games, if that's part of the whole shtick, right, is that I'm going to break down what I see. I mean, what I don't like is still the very, uh, the very obvious, right? Yes, our defense are chipping in in goals lately. Giordano, right? Uh, Labushkin, uh, you know, Hall's trying to chip in as well, too. These guys are chipping in on offense all over the place. But I want to see more defensive coverage, right? You talk about the goals that we saw against Shalgren tonight. There's four goals against him, right? And I don't think you can say any single one of them is his fault. Uh, maybe one of them. Maybe. But that's a stretch. The first one. Uh, the first one. How the heck do you have Hall... He makes a pass from D to D and then goes swooping into the net. Why? There's already three forwards up there. Why is Hall jumping into that at all? So he passes over to Brody over to the side there, right? And then Brody has the nerve to chuck it in front of the net. You know what I mean? You know that's a risk. You know it's possible someone's going to pick that off. And there's nobody back at the blue line. You've both crept in. No forwards have come back. And you trying to make a play to the net right there? Why? There's no need to make a play like that. It's a tie game, 0-0. There's no reason to take a risk like that. If you found yourself too deep in the zone by mistake, hey, mistakes can happen. The safest play right there is to put it into the corner and take the blue line back, right? He's got no option in front. The D are too far in. There's no one covering back. The safest thing to do is whip it around the corner just to try and aim it to the back of the net area. You let them sort it out and someone comes back to the blue line. You admit defeat in the moment and you double back a little bit to protect yourself, but they don't. And Brody makes the offensive choice, which they always do, this team, and tries to whip it to the net. Now you got a two on oh. I mean, a two on oh to start off this thing. You know, like, come on, man. So of course, Shogun's gonna be a little wigged out about that, right? Uh, after that, you've got a screen in front, again, right? Nice and low, uh, Kachuk is in front. Kachuk's got the inside of the net. The defense that covering, that's covering him is on the outside of the net. That's not a good position to be in. You want that reversed, right? As a D, you want to be on the inside of the post compared to Kachuk, and you want to force him to the outside of the net. 
right? If you can't, if you're absolutely stuck like that, then still, you gotta try and move them the shortest distance possible out of Shogrin's, uh, Shogrin's way. They don't. That really low shot that even Shogrin was pretty good at getting down there in time. Gets a little deflection or something like that. I mean, there it is, right? So there's a screen. Uh, the third one, what was that one? Third one was a deflection? Did I get that right? I can't remember. I'm getting my third and fourth saw me. I don't even remember the fourth now. Because <laughs> once it started off like that, I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. You know what I mean? The Leafs shouldn't have to score five goals a game to win. They shouldn't have to. But, I mean, look at goal scoring. It's up all over the place, especially amongst the top teams in the NHL. So, what do I know? What do I know? The reality is, in sports, if you get the win, you get the win. And if you keep getting more wins than losses, Nobody can tell you how to play the game. Not me, not you, not the media, not other teams, coaches, whatever. That's between your team and your management. And if you're getting wins more than you're getting losses, hey, my metaphoric hat is off to you. That's Toronto, that's Calgary, that's uh, Colorado, that's anybody that's like Florida, anybody crushing it right now in the NHL doing things that I hate. Respect to you, respect to you. You know what I mean? I don't think it really matters one way or the other. I don't think it really matters. Just win, baby. Just win. And if you're winning however your team is designed to win, who are us? Who are we to say? Now, again, I like my style of play. And if you look at the proof, the proof is the way Ottawa handles a team like Toronto. I mean, I got to give it up to them, right? They're even showing highlights. Showing highlights during the game. They're doubling back and showing... Oh, this is where Ottawa pushed Matthews out of the front of that, or, or Bunting, or whoever, you know? Uh, look, the, you know, that could have been a screen, but the defense are forcing the man out. They're showing you right there in the highlights, man, as the game's going on. You can still play that style of NHL. That's not interference. You're allowed to do that. I don't know why. Technically, it should be interference. I get it. If you read the rule interference in, in a rule book, then moving a guy out front of your own net for the goalie to be able to see properly, that's interference. I understand that. But watch a game or two. Watch a game or two and you'll realize for some reason, defense are allowed to do that to forwards. I don't question it. I was always in defense and that worked in my favor. Just like anytime I played forward, if I'm in front of their net and I'm getting a little cross check, a little elbow, a little chop to the back of the legs, my job as a forward is to not fight that. You know what I mean? Your job is to take that abuse and prove that you're tough that way. Right? Now if it gets out of hand, it gets out of hand. Stick up for yourself. But... That's kind of the trade-off there, you know what I mean? It's allowed and other teams do it. Imagine guys, imagine if Toronto had all the offensive mindedness of themselves, Tampa, Florida, Colorado, these new generation high flying offense teams. Imagine you had a team that played that way with the puck and then without it, played like all these bottom teams kind of a little bit. I mean, not always, cause I mean, clearly they suck. They're down at the bottom, all these teams, but they do some things right because they're given no choice. They don't have the talent to play that hot, high offensive game. So they have to play super smart defense and just hope that, that, that their bodies can keep up with these high flying guys. But imagine those high flying guys had that defensive awareness in their own zone. That's all I'm saying. You'd have an absolute super team, a super team. So why aren't they trying to do it? And it's, it's not just the Leafs. Like I said, any of the top teams, they should be trying to figure that out. How do I borrow some of that smart defense that the bottom teams are playing in order to even hang for a night against our high-flying offense? And then also have my guys doing backflips while scoring, you know, Michigans through their own feet somehow. Doing, like, crazy stuff in the air. I don't know. You know what I mean? Let them have their fun on offense, but then also learn how to play defense. And if you had that, I'm talking about dynasty here in today's NHL. That would crush it. That would absolutely crush it. You know what I mean? Cup after cup after cup, I'm telling you. Until the other teams realize, oh crap, like we have to score and defend. And then, you know, the game would change again, like it always does. It's just a big cycle, guys, between offensive and defense. If you look at the history of the sport, that's just what happens. They favor one for a while, then they go back to favoring the other, and then favoring the other again. And each time it comes around, it looks a little bit different. So it's more like a spiral than it is a circle, right? Every time it's a little bit different, a little bit further out there, a little bit wackier. But... You know, it's basically the same thing every 15, 20 years, guys. So I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. So yeah, I thank you so much for 
for sticking around with me. Let's keep going with this. Let's keep this flow going. Let's really uh, bring that chat up. I mean, again, thanks to all the people following, all the people subscribing. Uh, I, guys, I'm so close to 4,600 now on Instagram. We're almost right there, man. So, like, spread the word. See if you can, like, spam people for me. <laughs> I don't even care. Whatever you got to do. We're so close to that. We're so close to uh, 420 subscribers on uh, YouTube, which I hear is a big number. I wouldn't know why at all, but I hear that if I get 420 subscribers on YouTube, that that looks really cool. I'm just listening to the kids. I don't, I, you know what I mean? I, I, I don't make up the news. I just report it. That's what I'm saying. So subscribe over there, man. Let's get it up to that 420 subs, huh? Maybe by the end of the week. And uh, let's keep it rolling, man. I really want to hear from you guys, okay? I really want to see what you guys are saying. See if there's anything I missed, all right? All right.